the projects that have come my way have been really challenging. Uh, it wasn't that I set out to uh, illustrate war books or whatever, but various publishers have come to me with these projects over the last little while. They've proven to be very challenging. Uh, you know, to make a subject matter that's pretty heavy duty, accessible to children and uh, young adults without being too explicit and too gory. The wars are all the same, regardless of when they were fought. The effect is the same on people. Uh, people die, uh, the kit changes, the weapons change, but the death, destruction repeats. I like uh, how that can all tie together. Uh, I guess it's experience with different books over the years. They feed off of one another and you keep building on, uh, on, uh, on each previous book to do a better job on the next one. With the children's picture books, it's nice. Usually the timelines are about a year, you know, from when I get the script to start with until, you know, the final art has to be delivered. I'm a bit of a slow thinker, and it's nice to get the script without sort of any uh, restrictions put on it to start with. And uh, so I'll read it for, uh, you know, a couple times and set it in the back of my mind. And uh, it just sort of percolates for a little bit. And I'll think about it for a month, maybe, or two months. And uh, then, uh, I think ideas start to come to me a little bit and uh, a lot of times books will come all in a flash and I'll see every page in it and I can you know just sort of do a set of, uh, of squibs that you know will lay out the whole book and I can uh, take it from there. The actual reference for a lot of these books was uh, you know pretty disturbing to go through over the years and uh, I've done about four books now or five books I don't know if I can do another one a lot of the footage to find to get to the soft footage that I need you have to go through a lot of harsh stuff hopefully it's it's not too traumatic when they're reading a lot of this stuff but hopefully uh, you know the message does sink through and you hope that we don't go there again in these wars I think librarians and teachers are receptive to them. I think uh, they become, you know, simple engaging tools to a bigger dialogue uh, in the classroom, uh, you know, around these events. You know, the teachers have, you know, uh, picked up on a lot of my titles and, you know, they are appreciated.